Louis Armstrong was one of the first ambassadors, the U.S. ambassadors of music, and he took a handkerchief wherever he went to dab his brow. I need more of a pool towel myself. We're going to start the giveaways early. Is Chu here? Let me give this to you, Nick. Fantastic. Now, you can see that we're traveling all around Southeast Asia with these instruments. So when we get to the airport, they see us coming. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's quite heavy. It doesn't affect me so much because I have an incredible physique. But, uh, you know, Joe has been complaining. He's, he's not quite the man I am, but uh, he's been working on it. This tour, this tour has been helping very much. And uh, we're going to take you, we, <laughs> we're going to take you to the banks of the Mississippi. See, there's this song that we do, and he usually plays banjo on it. And I said, Joe, will you bring the banjo? And he said, no way, man. Uh, I'm, I'm maxed out. There's no way I'm doing one more thing. I can't carry another pound or kilogram, as you say. And uh, I said, well, sure, it would be great to do the number. Uh, he said, well, maybe I can find a way to make my guitar sound like a banjo. You know, all out of tune and such. <laughs> Usually he wears a tie like a respectable young man should. Tonight he's going freewheeling and fancy free with an open collar. So he's opted for, oh, it looks like a tissue tonight. But see, he stuffs it under the strings here, and that causes the strings to mute and gives it a little bit of that banjo sound. Give him a few, few strums. I'm gone. 